Hi, my name is Turgay Gokar. Uh, let's talk tape. When you design a drive, you have to be able to write the previous generation and be able to still read two previous, two generation back read, one generation back write. I mean, that's the legacy has been since LT01. We know we have kind of modified the two gen back read these days because the way that tracks are getting so narrow, at some point with very narrow readers, even we are facing the uh, the signal to noise ratio limitations of mm -hmm. reading two generation back particles with very narrow readers. Um, so that particular requirement is also different than disk because of removability. I mean, disk just writes and reads its own generation. You buy a next disk drive, it's different. So you can't just switch these guys, you know, take the platters and from one and put them into another. It doesn't work. With tape, you know, you take the media, old media, put them into the next generation drive. If it is the previous generation media, that drive should be able to read it. And if you want to write an old uh, previous generation media with a new generation drive, yes, you can. It, it allows you to do that. And it's not as slow as people think it is. No, actually, it's Pretty much fast. faster. That's one of the problems. Yeah, like that. That's you. You touched a very good point. Uh, tape is fast because we got 32 channels data coming simultaneously. Drives moving, uh, you know, 5.6 meters per second. So that's like today LTO8 is 360 megabyte per second. For multiple generations, we were able to double the tape to transfer rate. But now, because we are going in the track density path to increase the capacity, as not as much on the linear density, and the tape speeds have ran into some physical limitations. Like, I mean, to be able to run the tape uh, 12 meter per second versus six, you need to do, you know, the data path, the ASICs and the transfer rates and the dynamics and everything, it just becomes very, uh, very extremely difficult. So we, we have to back away from the transfer rate. But even if so, 360 megabyte per second, that's ill stream. The problem happens, disks are slow. So with the slow disk, if you can't keep the drive, tape drive streaming, Unfortunately, with a streaming type tape drive, it has to stop reposition and go back up again. And so, you know, you lose the capability of the very fast system by not providing proper front end host systems that can supply streaming. So people need to maybe learn how to do their front end buffers and file size and object size more efficiently. So don't keep sending small bytes of data or you know if you're sending data, compressible data, and the drive is set in the compressible mode, you know, it's just gonna compress right and boom, it's gone from its drive buffer, now it's gonna stop and reposition. So you know system people have to be more aware how to use the tape drive more efficiently mm -hmm. so that they get the best out of tape drive when it's the best is when it's streaming.